we are asked to solve the given equation. This equation is considered to be in quadratic form because if we perform a substitution, it will simplify the equation into a more basic quadratic equation. Looking at the equation closely, notice how we have one factor of the quantity three plus five here on the right, and we have two factors of the quantity three y plus five here on the left because we have the quantity three y plus five squared. So if we let u equal the quantity three y plus five, and then perform a substitution for the quantity three y plus five, the quantity three y plus five squared would just be u squared. So we'd have u squared equals, on the right side we have 10 minus three times the quantity three y plus five would just be three u. Notice how by performing this substitution, the equation looks much simpler. Now let's set this equation equal to zero and factor. Because we want the squared term to be positive, let's subtract 10 on both sides and also add three u to both sides. This will give us the equation u squared plus three u minus 10 equals zero. And now let's factor the left side. U squared is equal to u times u, and the terms in the second positions will be the factors of negative 10 that add to positive three. And because negative two times positive five is equal to negative 10, and negative two plus five is equal to positive three, the two factors we need are negative two and positive five, which means in terms of u, one binomial factor is u minus two, and the other is u plus five. Now that we have it factored in terms of u, we want to write the equation back in terms of y by substituting the quantity three y plus five for u here and here. So performing the substitution into the first binomial gives us the quantity three y plus five minus two. And then for the second binomial, we have the quantity three y plus five plus five. And this is still equal to zero. And now let's simplify. 3y plus five minus two simplifies to 3y plus three. And 3y plus five plus five simplifies to 3y plus 10. Now in terms of y, this product is equal to zero when 3y plus three is equal to zero or when 3y plus 10 is equal to zero. Solving these two equations for y, here we subtract three on both sides, which gives us 3y equals negative three, and then we divide both sides by three. Simplifying, we get y equals negative one, or here we subtract 10 on both sides, giving us three y equals negative 10, dividing both sides by three, and simplifying, we get y equals negative 10 thirds. So our solutions are y equals negative one, or y equals negative 10 thirds, and notice how we were able to solve this equation by performing a substitution to simplify the equation and then write the equation back in terms of y to solve for y. Notice by performing the substitution, this allowed us to solve for y without having to square the binomial on the left or clear the parentheses on the right. Before we go, let's verify these two solutions actually satisfy the original equation. So here's the original equation. If we substitute negative 10 thirds for y, we get this equation here. After simplifying, we get 25 equals 25, which is true. Verifying the solution is correct. And then here's a substitution when y is equal to negative one. Simplifying, we get four equals four, which is also true. Verifying these solutions are y equals negative one or y equals negative 10 thirds. I hope you found this helpful.